Good to see you, Hunter. These are the hills of Timbergold Trails. This is the home of Rocky Mountain Elk. We can do this without even looking. We load up the inlight muzzle loader. Thank you, Addicted Outdoors, for this suggestion. We will be looking for elk with this wonderful modern muzzle loader. And now we have it loaded. And I'm looking forward to hearing some nice bugling. Always be nice to this elk. When they greet you, greet them back. First bull is ahead. This is the hill just northwest of the lodge that is in the northwest. <laughs> so this is at the very western tip of the map. Lots of elk here. Always a good place. I have a video just showing how to hunt elk around here. There's so many. The only problem is the more videos I make where to find many animals, the less they will appear. Somehow, I'm not sure who is uh, watching these videos. Um, so anyway, maybe it's just a uh, illusion of mine. Let's focus on what's coming in here. I have uh, adjusted a lot of my hunts, of my Make-A-Wish hunts to competitions and today's Rocky Mountain competition is the top three heaviest. But we still want to look for good racks. Nah, this is neither. This is neither a good rack nor a heavy weight. Top weight is 340. And we can see the outline collapsing. Our first elk, neither heavy nor high scoring, roughly around 300, I would say, 285 even just, even though it's the big rack, um, not a good score. So if there were any other elk, they will have been disturbed. We'll take the time to reload. This can take a while, but you will get used to this. It's actually not really taking very long. I can hear a grizzly breathe. I had a call from a Rocky Mountain elk, so I've been calling it in, but I think what has happened is there is a bear. I think he was fleeing and spooked my elk. And now I can hear the bear trot or walk. Do I have scent eliminator? Yes. I have a bear here in front of me. The only way to get close to them is like this. So we're going to shoot a bear instead. But I will go check out the tracks. I will go find it. <laughs> Quick, before he disappears. He was going to attack. Wow, when's the last time I've seen this? There is a mission where you need to have a bear attack you. So let's see what this is. Intestines, okay. Now I need to go pick up the dying bear, but I really wanted to have the elk. Here's the elk. Oh, it's a small one. 300 to 325. Oh boy, I'm glad. If this was a big one, going up to 340. Ah, uh, I might have just let the bear go. 
But now I'm gonna go pick it up. We shot a grizzly bear. Can you believe it? There you are. Grizzly bear in the Rocky Mountain elk hunt. It's a really small one, small female. No wonder we could get this close and it even attacked. I think a bigger one would have sensed us sooner and would have ran. Now this is a really small one. And it's a bad angle. Can I turn you around? Ooh. There's another, hopefully better one, up here. And there's a cow over there. Now they circle us. I will at least spook the cow. Just to get rid of it. Or it's gonna stay on my heels. Hello. You should do some sports. How about running? The small one doesn't care. All right, what are we getting? Uh. <laughs> Another small one. And he brings the whole family. Let's try a shot from here. Yes, collapsing. We got our second bull here. Now don't do this with the cap lock muzzle loader. The bullet will hit the animal and drop to the ground frustrated. It's really a lot weaker. And again, neither a good score nor a good weight. But that was a little bit of a longer shot now. From the front, no issues. Elk call ahead, and I keep looking in the lower right what the wind direction is. That would be call of the wild where you have this uh, little compass and you can see the wind because the wind in that game is really extremely important. No animal will come near you if it's downwind of you. Maybe just a stupid black tail or white tail doe but otherwise, certainly not a trophy bull. But in classic, the wind plays practically no role. I don't even check which direction it goes. If they come really close, they will smell you, but it's nowhere near what Call of the Wild does. In between this call and coming here, I picked up another track from another lightweight elk bull. And I'm thinking I've seen six or seven different tracks already. This is the place to be. Oh, this looks good. Ah, well. First look was good. But that's not a good one either.
not sure if I, uh, if I hit the heart. I was trying to stay low, hit the heart. We got the bright spot. We got the big rack, but you can see on top there is no crown tines. So you can know this is not going to score well, even though the estimation suggested it might be over 300. I doubt it. No hard shot and no 300. Yay, I'm ranking third in the competition. But I'm nowhere near the top. I have not found a single good one yet. I've got a tower here in the middle of the map. And I'm spotting a decent elk. But we have wolves in the area. I had wolf calls. And now I need to get them back. I think they spooked or they are nervous. But I also have a cow over here. That could uh, mess up things. So I'm taking her out. And hopefully I can get these bulls back. One looked really good. It said... Um, weight up to 340 and that's what I'm looking for they are trotting away now this is funny there's also another grizzly a male over 300 kilograms or around 300 I think I could shoot it from here with the muzzle loader but I'm really interested in the elk I hope they come back. At least one female does. It looks to me they were uh, some of them were spooked by the wolves. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> this we can do through the brain. All right, I keep hoping otherwise I will get off my tower down and after them. What was that spotting information? The grizzly still. So no responses to the calls. I will get down and go after this bull. It might be pretty far now. But once they trot, they go far. Was this a brain shot? Oh no, but everything else. The spine. So we missed a hard shot, we missed a brain shot. <laughs> what about this one? Oh, there goes the arrow. Same picture. Neck destroyed. So I have been calling, I'm not sure. Have they turned at some point? The grizzly says no. Well then, let's go find it. Fleeing tracks from the elk, but I can hear the uh, wolf breathe. More wolves. I can hear them breathe all the time. One more attempt to get one, the other one didn't come. So chasing elk or hunting elk and I'm standing here between crows and wolves. My fear is that my elk is still being chased. So maybe I can take one of the opponents out. Not that that makes a big difference. Calm down here. Finally, there he comes. All 
Oh, there's many. And the rest takes off. We got a wolf. Okay, let's get back to finding this elk. No, 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 no. You are not it. You are not it. I spotted something different before. And the elk actually called while I was tracking it. And the red dot on the hunter maid says where it was just two minutes ago. Is this small one going to mess things up here for me? I don't know where he is. I found the tracks, I followed, he called, I marked it on the hunter mate. So I'm not sure if he's coming my way or if he's still going. But this one is not gonna mess up things anymore. So he's still there. Just calling now, excellent. <coughs> this looks like a place to be. And there he is. Wonderful. I got the weight, but not the score estimation. It's okay-ish as far as the score. And I took off the uh, scope in the meantime. I've got something coming here to the left. What is it? Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, there's another cow running. So this one's down. Let's check the weight. 337. That is great. That is really good weight. So three of these and you have a chance to win the competition. Always a good start, fast rallying up to this tent here on the hill. Starts with a rocky mountain most of the time. Rocky mountain. Yeah, with the mountain itself. With the rocky mountain elk, of course. And it's pretty close already. Yeah. Let's see what we're getting. So you will have noticed I've started a new hunt. And I can't get on top of this. Now I can. Oh, this looks pretty good. The wide rack. Always promising. There's another one. 
not any better. Shall we do a double kill with the inline muzzle loader? Just kidding. <laughs> Too slow. How much are you? Three thirty two, that's not too bad. This time I'm going down the west side, basically along the border. And here is another good looking bull. Without the zoom. Yes, collapsed in the smoke. Score estimation is not too high, but the weight estimation, 325 to 340, the maximum possible estimation. And this is interesting. It's got a long tine on this. I'm always looking at the crown tines. That really tells you whether this is going to score well. On one antler, it's pretty short. 339 kilograms. How is that? <laughs> this is the lead in the competition. It's not going to last to the end. The competition takes another day. But hey, this was pretty cool. I was looking for Rocky Mountain Elk here in Timbergold Trails in this beautiful area with the inline muzzle loader. And here it is. This is the weapon we've been using with the scope, with the highlighted reticle. Let's turn to the sun. Here you go. Alrighty. Green, but really beautiful. I really like the color. I like this weapon. The reloading is pretty fast, fast enough. Uh, so you can hunt decently, just, uh, just nicely with this weapon. Anyway, enough of the talking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.